हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इजी प्रोग्रामिंग आई एम नवीन मिश्रा एंड आई कंटिन्यू टीचिंग यू हाउ टू राइट प्रोग्राम्स इन सी एंड सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज दिस विल बी द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस सी प्लस प्लस ट्यूटोरियल्स बिकॉज इट विल एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ फाइल हैंडलिंग आफ्टर दैट देर इज अ टॉपिक ऑफ एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग बट आई एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग एंड टेम्पलेट्स बट दीज आर दैटिकल टॉपिक्स एंड if someone needs i can teach them personally because i won't add these videos in these c++ tutorials okay uh, before i start this video i will suggest you guys to please watch my previous video where i have discussed the topic of files and stream classes only then you guys will be able to understand this topic okay in this video i'll start with file pointers and manipulators i will suggest you guys to please subscribe and do watch my videos uh, and share it with your friends if you like it uh, so please uh, subscribe and share to my channel let's start with this video that is file pointers and manipulators now in the previous video i have discussed the topic of if stream of stream and of f stream how to read the data from from a file how to write the data input into the file for reading purpose we use if stream for writing purpose we use of stream f stream can be used for both purposes but when the file is opened what is the purpose of the file what are the operations that can be performed on the file must be told in advance to the compiler this task is performed by the file opening modes till now if stream and of stream and f stream are using were using these modes in the background okay so there are file opening modes in c++ similar to c language okay so if stream of stream and f stream that you were using in previous videos in the previous video i have explained this topic were using the default mode but just like c we have different file modes there are six different file opening modes in in c++ ios input output stream then this is a scope resolution followed by in input then out output app append ate append to end truncate and to create binary files so there are mainly five to six modes generally used in programming languages we will discuss it one by one okay if stream when you create an object of if if stream then it by default have a mode of ios scope in so that you can read the data in mode is specially used to read the data okay of stream uses the uh, out mode that is output mode to write the data into the file you don't have to mention the in and out mode if you are creating the objects of if stream and of stream respectively okay when you use f stream you have to specify the mode of opening the file because f stream doesn't have any its any of its own default mode so let's start with these modes one by one in in is for input open the file in read purpose if the file does not exist compiler will generate an error message okay so you have to make sure that the file is already available in your secondary storage and you are opening it okay it is the by default mode of the uh, if stream or oh, out ios scope out is used for write purpose if the file does not exist you can create it using the output mode and if the file already exists the old contents will be removed okay so you have to make sure if you are creating a new file then you can use this out mode okay app and ate are the same almost same append and append to end they as the name uh, as as we pronounced they are doing the same thing but the major difference is the append mode will allow you to the append mode will allow you to add the contents anywhere in the file but ate will only allow you to add the contents at the end of the file so it allows us to append the content at the end of the file whereas app allows us to append the content anywhere in the file okay so let's continue the modes now binary file binary file is very rarely used but if you want to create a binary file generally character files are created when you use the file handling then file uh, character files are created if you want to create a binary file then you can create it using by specifying the binary mode uh, if your program contains objects and you want to store the data of objects then generally binary mode is used okay trunk truncate 
it will delete the contents of the file if it exists so this is why we use the truncate mode truncate mode means remove the contents that are already there in the file okay now these are the individual modes but sometimes you may need two or three modes collectively in the one object so you can combine two or more modes using this pipe operator which is or operator okay so this is the example you have created the object of f stream right it doesn't have its own mode that is uh, 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 there is no default mode of f stream so what we are doing is we are doing it f dot open that is open this file that and this file is open for append mode as well as no create mode no create says ki if the file does not exist don't create it just give me the error message okay now cursor pointer for various modes uh, let's say this is your file uh, record file that you created and these are the contents if you open the file for read mode that is in is scope in mode if the file exist the cursor will point at the first location that is before j here okay and if you open the file for output mode then the contents of the record file will be cleared and the cursor will point to the first position if the file does not exist it will be created and if you open the file for append or append to end mode the old contents will remain intact and the cursor pointer will point at the end that is after zero okay so these are the cursor positions that you must know before performing any operation that is read or write in the files okay now these were the by default positions of the cursors sometimes you may want to move the cursor position at a particular location or you just want to know the position of your cursor pointer so that you can perform the operations accordingly in these cases the c++ programming language provides you with some file manipulator methods using which we can move the cursor position okay so there are four functions available to move the cursor position or to know the cursor position in a file these are seek g seek p tell g tell p okay here the g g represents the get pointer and the get pointer will only work for the read mode files and not for the write mode files and p represents the put mode that is for write purpose file and not for the read purpose file that is if you have opened the file for read purpose then seek g and tell g will work seek p and tell p will not work and if you have opened the file for write purpose then seek p and tell p will work seek g and tell g will not work okay now difference between seek and tell is tell will only give you the location that the cursor position is that is at that particular position you cannot move the cursor position using tell if you want to move the cursor position then you have to use the seek so seek is used to move the cursor position tell is used to know the cursor position that's it okay now let's see the syntax one by one so this is the tell g gives the current position of the file get pointer it takes no parameter so in these brackets you will mention nothing and it will return the position of the file pointer you can store this position in the position variable that is of integer data type same as tell g tell p is used but it will be used for file out that is a output stream only here f in represents file input and here i have mentioned file output they will only give you the cursor position and will uh, only give you the cursor position but you cannot move the cursor to move the cursor you need seek g using seek g you can move your cursor position it takes two parameter one is offset and another is the reference position that from where you want to move the cursor position if you do not give the reference position even then your seek g can move can work okay or seek p can work so here seek g zero means move the cursor position at the first position okay and same as seek p similar to seek g seek p will work but it will work seek g will work only for the read purpose whereas seek p will work only for the write purpose okay so these are the main file manipulator methods which are very important in a c++ programming language now let's see the working of these using a program uh just a second uh, we move to the previous slide now there you go so these are the program to implement of seek g so i have written a program here what i'm trying to do is first of all i ask the user to enter a string let's say any name is entered then i calculate the length of the string 
then I open a file for a string and that is test.txt file and want to read as well as write the data so I am doing this so out is for output mode that is you can write the data and in is for input mode that is you can read the data so first of all I have started a loop from 0 to the given length position and stored the characters one by one in the file using the put method okay this is your this is the output of a program so when I ask the user for a string let's say American string is entered by the user so this program works first of all a is printed and then a is copied in the file pointer then m then e then r then i and this e and and so on okay once we do this one after the 17th line my cursor will point at the end position at the after the end now if, if we want to read the data simultaneously i have to move this cursor position back to back to the starting position that is before a for to do this i have used seekg so file.seekg0 will move this cursor position this one this line to the first position that is before a and then and then uh, i can start reading the contents from the file for this i have created a character then placed a while loop one by one i am reading the character displaying it and uh, when the loop ends i am closing the file this is the program to implement the seekg this is the program that can also be used to perform different modes okay so this program you can uh, write in situations where you are you have to implement the file manipulator methods or you have to implement the file opening modes this is a very important program for the btech and bc students okay now one other important question that comes again and again in the btech and bca exams are to copy the contents of one file into another so uh, let's understand this program as well uh, let's say this is my file that is record.txt in which this do 22 and 10 values are stored and i want to copy this value in the another file that is record2 so i have one record.txt file which is already created what my purpose is to copy the contents of the record file into another file that is record2 okay so this file will be open for read purpose because you are reading the data and this file will be open for the right purpose that is you are writing the data okay so this is the program you see here in the seventh and eighth line we have used if stream as well as off stream if stream to read the data off stream to write the data then i have used two string very uh, two array characters that is file name one and file name two and i'm reading the file name from the user using gets here so first of all I have asked the user to enter the source file name that is record.txt using gets fname1 retains the value of file then fs.open opens this file and I did the same thing for the target file that is I want to open this file again I have asked the user to name the file and I have opened it now this is file source and this is file terminal so what I have done is I have continued a loop or began a loop that will end at the end of the file. So this fs.eof what it will do is it will keep on displaying or reading the character until the end of the file is reached that is after zero. Okay. So if the end of file contents is, has not been reached read this character from fs to ch then display this character to me and then copy this character. This loop continues and one by one all these characters are copied to this file that is G O E 2 2 1 0 okay and once the end of the file is reached I, I show I will show the user a message that is file is copied successfully and then these stream classes that I have opened will be closed okay and this is your output of the program so first I have asked the source file name that is record.txt then target file name that is record2.txt and then one by one characters are copied and a message is shown to me that is file is copied successfully so this is the program of copy contents from one file to another i hope you have understood the concepts uh, that's it from this video the file handling is complete the c++ tutorials are complete i will start either data structure or java course from the next week uh, i hope you guys like my video if you do, please subscribe and share my channel with your friends. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Cheers.